we have a system of equations and we want to solve for the values of x and y. There are two methods to solve this problem using the elimination or the substitution method. Let's start off using the elimination method. Now, when we are using the elimination method, we want to cancel out one of the variables, either x or y. And if you can tell here, here we have a positive 5x and here we have a negative 5x. So right now we don't have to manipulate anything. We can just add these two expressions together and they will cancel out. Now, if we add them, it's going, to look, it's going to look like this. We have 5x minus 2y plus y minus 5x equals negative 7 plus 6. Now, let's start simplifying. We can cancel out our positive 5x and our negative 5x, and we are left with negative 2y plus y, which leaves us with negative y equals negative x plus 6, which leaves us a negative 1. Now, if we divide negative 1 on both sides, we are left with y equals 1. Now, we can take this value and plug it into one of our equations to find the value of x. Now, so let's plug it into our first equation. We have 5x minus 2 times y, instead of y, I'm going to be writing 1, equals negative 7. Now, we have 5x minus 2 equals negative 7. We'll add 2 on both sides, and we are left with 5x equals negative 5. Now let's divide 5 on both sides, and we are left with x equals negative 1. So our final value for x and y is going to be negative 1 for x and positive 1 for y. That will be our final answer, and that is answer D. Now I'll show you how we solve using the substitution method. All right, so using the substitution method, we want to, we want to isolate one of the variables, and that will be easiest to do so with the second equation. So we have y equals 6 plus 5x. Now we can take this expression for y and plug it into our first equation here. So we have 5x minus 2 times y. And instead of y, we're going to be writing the expression 6 plus 5x equals negative 7. Now let's distribute this two, And we have 5x minus 12 minus 10x equals negative 7. Now let's combine like terms and keep the numbers on the right hand side and the x's on the left hand side. So if we do so, we will be adding 12 on both sides and we will be combining these two like terms. So we are left with negative 5x equals a positive 5. Now if we divide by negative 5 on both sides, we are left with x equals negative 1. Now when we have the value of x, we can plug it into one of our equations and find the value of y. So let's plug it into here to find the value of y. So we have y equals 6 plus 5 times our x, which is negative 1. So if we simplify, we have y equals 6 minus 5. And if we further simplify, we get that to equal 1. So our final answer is negative 1, 1 which is the same result we got using the elimination method, and our final answer will be D.